Hi everyone, my name is Yasmin. I'm a co-founder of She Leads Africa and welcome to the very first episode of Ask SLA. Um, in this series, we're going to be giving you guys the opportunity to ask us interesting business questions and we're going to be giving our best um, effort at answering them. So the first question today um, says, uh, my sincere gratitude to the founders of this wonderfully inspiring group. Thank you so much. I'm a soon-to-be graduate in zoology and environmental biology, and I intend to go into entrepreneurship. But my problem is that I don't know which area to venture into. Can SLA please help me come up with some interesting business ideas? Thanks in anticipation. So this is a really interesting question that I know a lot of fresh graduates um, struggle with. Um, and I'm going to answer it in two parts. Um, so the first thing would be around, well, what are the interesting opportunities that one might find if you're interested in, you know, environmental sciences, etc. And then the second one would be, how would you actually enter or access those opportunities when, you know, you're not quite sure exactly what, what specific business it is that you want to go into. So the first hand, I think that there are a lot of people who are doing interesting stuff around, you know, sustainability, um, waste management, um, recycling. Um, one really interesting entrepreneur um, who's based in Nigeria is someone called Bilikis, who um, runs something called Recyclers. Um, and what they do is they go into you know, slum or underprivileged areas um, and hire people in the local community to go and pick up plastic. The plastic is then kind of taken to um, recycling plants or places that you know, recycle plastic and remake them into bottles, etc. Et um, and they actually buy it off her. Um, and she's doing something really interesting where she's actually empowering the local community, but it's also really making an interesting profit. Um, and so if you want to check that out, um, it's called We Cyclers, and her name is Bilikis Adebi. Um, I think that the next thing that I would think about is, okay, you know, you're kind of interested in environmental science, you know, there are interesting things, but how do you actually enter it? Um, I would say if you're a new graduate, the most important thing, and I know that there are examples that are contrary to this point, but I would actually say you should go and work in the industry. Um, think about um, job opportunities in the environmental space. One of the interesting things about when you actually go and work in a certain industry is that you start spotting some of the problems or the challenges you know, that people are facing in that space and you're also getting paid and getting trained to do it. So it's a really good um, and low risk opportunity way for you to kind of get your foot in the door. Um, and then there, after a year or two where you've surveyed the landscape, you now understand the space, um, you know, whether it's recycled waste management, whether it's recycling, whether it's anything else in the environmental space, you have a better understanding of it. Um, and then you can actually go and launch into your own venture. One, you'll have a couple months of salary saved up. Um, so you've got something to take you through the months where you're not going to be making a lot of money in the, in the first place. Um, and then I think the second thing is that you also have experience in the area that like you really want to work in. And there are five really interesting resources that you can find on the SLA website if you're interested in this issue. So the first one is five unsexy business ideas to get you started. Um, the second one is uh, by an entrepreneur called Trish Lewis. Um, and she is talking about the fact that she's always been obsessed with businesses that solve problems. Um, another one is actually a guide that we have created, which is called Starting Your Business, uh, Your Very First Step. And the last one is seven reasons why you should start a side hustle instead of a business. Now, all you need to do to find these resources is go to www.sheleadsafrica.org. In the top right hand corner of the website, you'll see a little search bar. If you type in any of the keywords that I gave you for those articles, it will pop up and it'll be very easy to find. Thank you so much for watching this and please don't forget to like, comment and share.